Hi everybody, we're the SeaWorld Research and Rescue team and we're here to help this turtle. This turtle itself is a loggerhead turtle and this is a critically endangered species in Australian waters at the moment. This animal is in really poor body condition. As you can see, it's very, very thin. So it's obviously been sick for a long time. It's difficult to tell how old a turtle is. An animal of this size would be more than 30, but it's hard to tell exactly. You can't tell the sex of a turtle unless it has a really long tail. So if an animal has a tail longer than 30 centimetres, from the back of the shell to the tip of the tail, you can pretty well say that it's a male. But if it's less than 30 centimetres like this turtle here, you can't say for sure if it's a male or a female unless you have a look at the gonads themselves. Generally when this species goes off the coast, they go to sea for about 15 or 20 years. During this time, some of the turtles become associated with the longline fishing industry and they can end up with hooks and fishing line entangled around them. Interestingly, this is the third loggerhead turtle that's been washed up between Main Beach and the end of the spit in a week and a half. Something's a bit strange. We don't normally see this many loggerhead turtles washed up in such a short period of time. So what we'll do with this turtle now, we'll take it back to SeaWorld. We'll have our vet look at it in the morning. And because it's got fishing line on the outside of the animal around its flippers, it's quite likely that it has ingested some as well. So we will x-ray the animal to make sure that there's no hooks or line inside. Now back at SeaWorld, the turtle is put in an isolation pool for observation and the team cut off the remaining fishing line still wrapped around its right flipper. You can see the tear on the left flipper where the line has worn away the skin. This turtle will remain here until the vet check tomorrow morning.